What's up everybody, I'm Exotic Gaming, and welcome back to another Pixelgun 3D weapon review. A review on one of the most powerful weapons in the history of Pixelgun 3D. A weapon that many people would call overpowered. This is a review that most likely none of you thought was coming. The Smart Bullet Bazooka Review. Now before we get into this Smart Bullet Bazooka Review, if you all do enjoy this video, why not drop a like? And let me give you all a little heads up. If you leave a like on the video right now, you will receive a glass of water. Now some of you may be thinking, well wait, Exotic is just a glass of water, why would I like the video? Well, it's not any ordinary glass of water. This water comes from the last glacial refuges high up in the mountain of the island of New Guinea. It was an extremely daunting task for me to go up there and retrieve this water, but I did it for you guys. So leave a like and this water will arrive to you very soon. But anyways guys, with all the silliness aside, let's get right into this review. Going into the armory section and looking at the design of the Smart Bullet Bazooka, we can see that there is a strong resemblance between this weapon and the bullet bills of the Mario series. And I guess that's how Really Soft got the design of this weapon. They designed this off of the bullet bills in Mario. And that's very cool because I love the Mario series and having something that is Mario related in Pixel Gun 3D is very cool. This weapon has an efficiency of 25, a firing rate of 7 a 4 capacity and a 100 mobility and it says it has a grade of legendary but I would personally put that at common or uncommon because the truth is this is a very commonly seen weapon in pixel gun 3d this weapon shoots out rockets and it has the area damage special ability obviously since most premium weapons do but the most unique thing about this weapon is the fact that it actually has the homing missile special ability which only one other weapon in pixel gun 3d has the bee swarm spell the fact of the matter is when you use this weapon you don't actually need to aim directly at an enemy player you can fire in their general direction and as long as something is not blocking the path that actually will heat seek the enemy player and hit them without ever really needing to aim at them as you guys will see if I can manage to hit somebody like this you guys will see that it just absolutely demolishes enemy players especially if you are at range now the truth is this weapon will not do that great at close range, like this range that I'm at right here because there are many weapons that are one shot kill weapons that will end up demolishing you if you use this weapon. So this is one of those few area damage weapons that actually performs best at medium range, which is why I'm actually going into Night Christmas Town. Night Christmas Town, Pumpkin Island, Paradise Resort, those are all pretty good weapons that are pretty good maps that you can use this weapon and as you guys can see, this weapon will just demolish people especially if they have the smart bullet bazooka themselves now if you go into close range do not be surprised if somebody who's using a weapon like the anti-hero rifle or the ghost lantern will be able to kill you many more times than you will be able to kill them so you have to be careful when using this weapon at a range like this you guys will see that guy that was pretty lucky because he was only a one-shot kill but if that guy did have max armor it would have been a four-shot kill and most likely if he had another area damaged weapon he would have probably been able to get the kill before I got him. Now since this weapon does have that heat seeking special ability and it is an area damaged rocket shooting weapon, it will also have a travel time and if somebody has all of the items equipped, it'll be pretty easy to escape this weapon. So in truth, it's actually not going to give you the greatest gameplay in the world. The best gameplay you can get with this weapon is not if you use this the entire length of a match. You guys will see I'm not going to get too many kills in this match because I am using only this weapon in the match that I am in. If you use this weapon kind of like as a backup only at certain times in matches that you go into, that is where you will get your best gameplay when using this. You cannot really use this the entire length of the 3 minute and 45, 4 minute, whatever long it is, however long it is match because there are going to be times when other weapons will perform much better than this one. You guys see I'm getting a lot of very newbie deaths because people are using weapons like the prototype and pretty much every other weapon that will perform better at certain times as opposed to this one. So. You have to be a little bit intelligent, you have to be kind of clever and figure out the proper times to use this weapon. It's one of those weapons where you're going to get most of your gameplay with, say, the charge rifle right here, and then as a last resort, if somebody pops up behind you and you can't really get them because they're jumping all over the place, spastic, running all over the place, and it's very difficult to hit them, you can take out your smart bullet bazooka and finish the job. But as you guys can see, this weapon is a four-shot kill, so as long as there is nothing in the way that's potentially blocking the enemy player, you can just hold down the firing button and all four of those rockets will end up killing that enemy player as long as you do not miss one of them. If you do miss one of your shots, then that is when this weapon will become pretty bad. 
because you will have to take quite some time to reload, and that's when, like I said, you do not want to use this the entire length of a match. If you fire all four shots and you miss one of them and you do not kill the enemy player, you should take out another weapon and that way you can finish off the job with that other weapon. You can use something like the charge rifle and then take out the smart bullet bazooka and finish the job like I had done right there. But as you guys can see, I'm still not getting the greatest gameplay in the world and that's what happens when you use this weapon solely in the entire length of a match. It has a scope. But I wouldn't recommend using it because, in truth, that's not the greatest thing to use in the world. Most area we damage weapons that use scopes are just better off if you use them like I am using them right here. Because this weapon still has that heat-seeking homing missile special ability regardless if you use the scope or not. So it doesn't really matter when you use this weapon, how you use it with the scope or with that. I guess it's really based off of personal preference. You can choose to use it. You can't choose to. I mean, it doesn't really matter. You can do whatever you want. But as you guys can see here, it is pretty easy for people to run away from the smart bullet bazooka missiles because in truth they're not too fast so you do want to have if you are trying to dodge somebody who's using this all the possible items that will end up making you faster go through your hats go through your boots and everything else and try to find the things that will increase your mobility to the max and that way you can easily run away from somebody who is using the smart bullet bazooka because even when I'm using this item right here I can easily run away from it with something like the dark or Saber or something like that. So it is pretty easy to run away from this, especially if you're in a map like Christmas Town, like I am in here right, right now, where there are lots of different alleyways and corridors where you can easily just go around a corner and then you're good. It'll hit the side of the building, but it won't actually go around and hit you. But the thing is, where this weapon becomes overpowered is in a map like Paradise Resort, where there aren't too many things that the, the rockets can actually hit, where it's pretty much impossible to not actually hit the enemy player. Pretty much every single shot that you do fire will end up killing the enemy player when using a weapon like this. So that's where this weapon becomes overpowered. This weapon can be pretty good in a map like Silent School if you use it, like I said, where you don't use it the entire length of the match. But like I said, there are going to be times where people are going to kill you with other weapons. You use something like the Ghost Lantern and you have an enemy like the Smart Bullet Bazooka users. Well, the Ghost Lantern is going to beat the Smart Bullet Bazooka in a map like Silent School or otherwise. But as you guys can see, even if you do use this the entire length of a match, you can get in the top positions of that match. It is a little bit difficult to win at times because people will have, in those medium range matches, weapons like the sniper rifles and stuff like that, and if you're going head to head at range with the Smart Bullet Bazooka versus the Anti-Hero Rifle, it will be pretty difficult to actually win against somebody who is using that so it is a pretty tactical thing to use at certain times you have to pick and choose when you should use this weapon and if you can manage to do that successfully we'll get some very very good gameplay when using this weapon now after we've talked about kind of how this weapon works and stuff, I'd like to, I'd like to talk about why this weapon is overpowered and why so many people do not like using this weapon. The truth is, since this weapon does have the homing missile special ability, it doesn't require any skill when using. All you have to do is just aim at an enemy player, and as you guys can see, you don't really need to aim right at them. It will end up killing them like I did right there. So. I, among many other people, do not like it when people use this weapon the entire length of the match. I can't really prevent people from using this weapon since this is a weapon just like all others in Pixel Gun 3D, but what I would recommend people to do who just refuse to not use this weapon is don't use this the entire length of a match like I had shown you guys earlier. What you should do is have another weapon equipped, something that does require some level of skill, get some gameplay with that thing, and only at certain times get some kills with the Smart Bullet Bazooka. That way you won't make people too mad because in truth, I, among many other people, will get very, very mad if you use this weapon over and over and over again the entire length of a match. So I'm just trying to help you guys out. It will end up giving you guys much better player experience. Your social life in Pixel Gun 3D will be improved if you do not use this the entire length of the match because in truth people will be saying some pretty nasty things in the chat if you do spam this weapon the entire length of a match. I'm actually very surprised people didn't do that yet in this match. Maybe it's because people know who I am, but if I was just a regular old player in a match and I went into something like Paradise Resorts, people would probably be pretty mad at me if I was using this weapon. Now the thing is, if somebody is using a pet, as you guys can see right here, that can pose some problems because the bullets will actually end up going for the pet first, and if you're trying to shoot all four shots at a max armored player, well, 
those shots may not end up all hitting that player and it might end up being pretty difficult to take them out so there are times when this weapon is difficult to use and that's great it's luckily not one of those weapons where it's easy to use the entire time but let me just tell you this guys if you want to be better at pixel gun 3d this is not the weapon to get. If you want to be able to do well with every weapon in my loadout right here, if you want to do well with the dual shotguns, or the dual hawks, or the tiger, or the gas launcher, or anything else that I have, or any other weapon in Pixel Gun 3D, you shouldn't use this weapon because this is going to basically gear you towards only being able to use the homing missiles of Pixel Gun 3D where if you use anything else, it's practically impossible to get any decent gameplay with them. So keep that in mind, guys. You're not going to do that great if you use this weapon over and over again and you don't try anything else. So keep that in mind when you use this weapon. But in all honesty, I don't really have much else I need to say about this weapon. It looks really cool. It's a cool design based off of the bullet bills in Mario, but I'm not a particular fan of it. This is not something you're going to see me use for fun. I have used this a lot in recent videos, which is very surprising, like I said, but don't expect me to use this just for fun off camera because that's not really something I would do. I only use this weapon in videos because I personally think it's a very overpowered and newbie weapon to use. I'm more about using those weapons that require a little bit more skill, like I said, but hey, if you want to use this weapon, I can't really prevent you from doing that. So, I mean, whatever. It doesn't really matter. And uh, yeah, overall, I mean, if I was to rate this weapon, honestly, this weapon would be like a 9.5 out of 10 because this is just as good as it actually is. But if you go into a map like Silent School or other close range maps, this weapon may turn into something like maybe a 7 because obviously the Ghost Lantern would be a 1 or it would be the max 10 rating. So this one would definitely be not as good as the Ghost Lantern. So, I mean, it's all based off of you guys, whatever you guys want to do. I mean... I can't prevent you from not getting this weapon, so if you want to get it, go right ahead. But I'm just encouraging if you have like a uh, pretty, pretty not good. What am I trying to say? If you not, if you don't have a, but I'm just trying to say if you don't have a good time when you uh, deal with other people who are using some of these other. But I'm just trying to say if you don't have a good time when you're actually trying to deal with people and people say some really nasty things and you're not really able to cope with them pretty well, this is probably not the weapon to use. So just keep that in mind. But overall, guys, I don't really have much else I need to say about the Smart Bullet Bazooka. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Enjoy this video while you can if you did want me to do videos with the Smart Bullet Bazooka because this one and that newbie weapon gameplay like I told you guys before, they're pretty much the only times you're going to see this weapon on my channel. Maybe if I was to do Mario weapon gameplay, I could use this. And maybe if I was to do something like the Premium Gun Game Challenge, I could use this weapon. But other than that, there really aren't too many other possible plans I could use this weapon for in future videos video so if you really want me to and you have a really good video idea then feel free to comment that down below so I could use this in future videos but I do like other premium weapons better so yeah guys that's pretty much it if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a like for that glass of water like I said before <laughs> and make sure to comment down below other weapons you'd like to see me post on my channel whatever you want me to do I can do it I didn't do the bell revolver for my next review like um many people actually wanted me to do but I did want to do this one to get this one done and over with so I could uh, show you guys maybe the bell revolver in the next video so if you are looking forward to the bell revolver review make sure to comment that down below so I do know you want that as the next video and uh, yeah make sure to go check out some of my other reviews I have done on my channel I talked about the ghost lantern a lot in this video so if you want to check out my ghost lantern review I'll link it down below in the description and I have like so many other weapon reviews you wouldn't even believe it I have well over 100 weapon reviews i think this is around like 120 130 or something like that so i have a ton of weapon reviews that would keep you entertained for many many hours i would personally recommend checking out my santa sword review i got great gameplay there uh, my photon shotgun review my photon pistol review and numerous other ones that i actually got some really really good gameplay when using but other than that thank you all for watching and let's go get one last kill it should be this guy it should be pretty easy did I even get that kill? No, I didn't. Okay, the other guy got the kill. But this should be our last kill right here, hopefully. And... Can we get him? Come on, Godzilla. God dang it, I got a kill assist. That's a little unfortunate, but here we go. There we go. So yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode.